Unlike Apple TV or Android TV, there's no easy way to just, you know, stream your iPhone onto your Fire TV stick directly. You'd have to use a helping hand from Amazon's App Store using an app called AirScreen, which is a third party app. Now, I know what you must be thinking, haven't we already seen this on SmartDNS Proxy? Well, I haven't checked in on it in a while and I actually did and there's quite a few updates including new interface and other features. So a lot of the existing guides or other videos are probably irrelevant now so that's why I'm making this video. So without any further ado, I'm Vamzi and let's begin. First things first, we need to download the AirScreen app, go to your find menu, select search, it'll open a virtual keyboard, type AirScreen and then check the apps from suggestions. Now click on that and then use the download button to install the app on your Fire TV stick. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds if you've got a good internet connection. And then scroll down to the All Apps menu on the Fire TV stick. Now open the AirScreen that you just downloaded from the following menu. AirScreen will ask you to double check the Wi-Fi connection on your Fire TV stick and your iPhone. For me, as you can see, the phone's connected to Batcave 5 gigahertz. And the same thing if I go to Fire TV settings and then choose Wi-Fi. It's also connected to Batcave 5 gigahertz. Also, if you're wondering, for better internet speeds, connect to 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency instead of 2.4 GHz. Now, let's go back to the AirScreen app. AirScreen will take you to the home screen which shows you the current Wi-Fi connection. Now, open the control center on your iPhone. Now, long press on the screen mirroring icon and you'll notice the option to AirPlay content on your Fire TV stick. It should be the same name as AF, AFTMM or something like that. With a couple of seconds, you'll see iPhone screen mirroring on your Fire TV stick. Open the Photos app and mirror photos and videos from your iPhone directly onto your Fire TV stick. And the good part is, you don't have to rotate phones or videos. Fire TV stick automatically is smart enough to use the landscape mode whenever required. You can also play videos by the way, but they might be a bit of lag or delay, but not that much though. Now, let's see if you can play Netflix or YouTube from your phone. And as you can see, it did work for YouTube, but not for Netflix due to DRM protection. One thing to keep in mind though, is that if you turn off your iPhone screen, the mirroring will also stop. And it's not like, you know, Google Cast feature. If you're facing issues with video playback on your Fire TV stick, you might want to enable hardware acceleration. If you want to do that, just open the AirScreen app on the Fire TV stick. And from the left side bar, select settings, and then scroll down to the hardware acceleration menu and enable it. Now try to mirror iPhone to Amazon Fire TV stick again, and there you go. AirScreen is free to use, the paid version though will remove ads and offers multiple device connections and much more. The pricing starts at $1.50 per month. So there you have it, that's how you mirror your iPhone's photos and videos onto your Fire TV stick from the convenience of your couch. Speaking of convenience, check out smartdsproxy.com if you're keen to unlock geo-assisted content on the same Fire TV stick. That way you can access Netflix USA, HBO Max, BBC iPlayer and all other stuff. Anyway, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.